up guys? Alright, so uh, I'm just making this video. You know, we're going out metal detecting later on. Me, my dad, my brother, my nephew. Got a good spot we're going to hit up later. But uh, we just got this gear pinpointer in the mail. And I'm just kind of showing you what it does. Uh, it saves you a lot of time digging. It's a nice tool to have. So uh, basically, you know, we already found a spot here. So. <clears throat> I already found it with our actual metal detector, but as you can see, this thing kind of pinpoints where it's at. So I'm just going to see it here. Tell me you just okay. hit it. That rocks. Now just pull it back, don't. Yeah, well, that'll work out yeah, for us. So now you can use this. It'll give you a better idea of what it is. Yeah, see, it's still in the hole. It'll save you a lot of time, especially if you got like a coin. You know, you ain't gonna have to sit here and dig through all this dirt. This will pinpoint exactly if it's still in the dirt. If it's down here. It's a real nice tool to have. It'll save you a lot of time. But we're just still gonna dig this up, see what it is. I'm hitting it down there. It sounds like a can. It does sound like a piece of aluminum can or something, don't it? Deeper. That's the day when I think kept saying uh, six inches, and every time we went six inches, I kept reading another six. <laughs> to pull that big ass long piece of metal out of there. Oh, well, there it is, whatever it is. Huh. Piece of wire? No, it's metal. Yeah. Oh, that's an old fucking stake. Like a lightning rod stake. Oh, we got exactly what that is a tie down it's a tie down thing too like that one thing yeah. oh that one looks like lightning rod but anyways kind of get the idea i didn't expect to pull that out of the ground no i didn't expect you to pull that out of my yard either <laughs> Alright guys, uh, we're here at our first location. I'm super excited to dig. Uh, we've got our Garrett, like I said, just got that in yesterday, so we're going to get this baby dirty. Um, where we're at is actually an old farmhouse, um, but prior to that, it was a old schoolhouse. And according to the owner, he said it goes back as far as 1917 documented, but it could be before that. Not exactly sure, we have to do a little research. But for sure in 1917 there was an old school house here and as you can see there's the old school bell here the school would have been basically from here going that way back towards where the house is um so we're gonna we're gonna detect this whole area see if we can find any old artifacts anything from the school or anything for the client from his parents who lived here for years uh there's a lot of opportunity i'm super stoked to get going but um i think that's about it and if you anything i'll let you know Go off. Got it? It's, 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 it? it's, it's clear over here, Jeff. Well, keep digging. Okay, well, I got it moving. There you go. It's threaded. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty sure this is an old gate. It probably belonged to the school at one point. Just in the client's backyard. Pretty cool, though. 1917, wow. Okay guys, uh, just kind of recapping how our day went. We went to the old farmhouse there where the schoolhouse was and uh, started digging up what we could there. Um, some of the kind of cooler things we found was an old ranch which probably belonged to uh, the guy who farmed it, the guy who lives there now, his father, which was kind of neat. Um, what we were looking for was, you know, anything to do with the school. Uh, we knew the schoolhouse stood there in 1917. Uh, that was what we were hoping for. We did find remnants of the building, like 
uh, old pipes uh, you'll see in the pictures and stuff uh, we're thinking it's like sewer line or something from the old building but um, other than that nothing valuable but you know it's kind of cool digging up history you know, learning about it we also found a little it was folded up a little piece of uh, like aluminum or something but it said strand steel on it and I'm actually in touch with the Facebook group at the moment and waiting to hear back from them hopefully they can give me a little info on what that may have been um, aside from that what else did we find today oh my brother found the 1967 quarter which was pretty cool um, obviously it had been in the ground for a while so that was kinda cool and we did dig a little bit at my parents house um, found an old steel rod you'll see all this stuff in the pictures you'll know what I'm talking about but um, I also found an old toy car there which is kinda cool because uh, we do know that the people that lived there years past before my parents moved in they had a young man but died in a car accident a young kid that lived there uh, unfortunately but found an old toy car assuming it was probably his or his little brother so that was kinda neat and um, aside from that just a bunch of junk but you know that's how it goes so um enjoy <laughs>